Christmas Day eruptions shake Yellowstone and Hawaii. December 25, 26, 2025. As the world paused to celebrate Christmas, Earth itself showed no sign of rest. From the frozen geothermal fields of Yellowstone National Park to the fiery summit of Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii, powerful natural forces reminded scientists and the public that volcanic systems remain active, unpredictable, and deeply interconnected beneath the planet's surface. Yellowstone stirs again. Black Diamond erupts. On the 20th of December, 2025, deep inside Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin, a rarely active hydrothermal feature known as Black Diamond Pool erupted violently without warning. Surveillance cameras and nearby sensors recorded a sudden blast of superheated steam, boiling water, and thick volcanic mud shooting high into the cold winter air. Witnesses described the eruption as explosive and chaotic, a loud, cannon-like burst, followed by rolling clouds of steam drifting across the snow-covered basin. The pool's calm, dark surface vanished in seconds, replaced by churning mud and fractured ground. Scientists quickly confirmed that this was a hydrothermal eruption, not a magma-driven volcanic event, but that distinction has done little to calm public concern. Hydrothermal eruptions occur when groundwater trapped beneath the surface becomes superheated, building intense pressure until the overlying rock fails. Yellowstone, home to the largest active geothermal system on Earth, contains thousands of these pressure zones, many of which remain poorly understood. What alarms experts is not just the eruption itself, but its timing and location. Black Diamond Pool has shown activity before, but rarely with this level of force. The eruption follows months of subtle ground deformation, gas changes, and minor seismic tremors detected across parts of the park. While officials emphasize there is no evidence of an impending supervolcanic eruption, the event underscores how rapidly conditions can change beneath Yellowstone's surface. These systems can shift quietly for years and then release energy in seconds, one geologist noted. Kilauea erupts again. Episode 39 unfolds. While Yellowstone released pressure through steam and mud, Kilauea volcano released molten rock. On Christmas Day, Kilauea entered episode 39 of its ongoing eruptive cycle, lighting up the night sky over Hawaii with towering lava fountains and glowing flows confined within Halamaumau Crater. Jets of lava surged hundreds of meters into the air, painting the clouds orange and red as volcanic gas poured from the summit. Seismic instruments recorded continuous tremor, while ground deformation sensors showed rapid inflation, clear signs that magma was actively rising and draining from shallow reservoirs. Unlike Yellowstone's hydrothermal explosion, Kilauea's eruption was magmatic, sustained, and powerful yet still within expected patterns for this highly active volcano. Scientists confirmed that lava remained contained within the summit crater, posing no immediate threat to nearby communities. Still, the intensity of episode 39 has raised new questions about magma recharge rates, pressure cycling, and how long this eruptive sequence might continue into 2026.
For volcanologists, Kilauea remains one of the most valuable natural laboratories on Earth, offering real-time insight into how magma moves, pauses, and erupts. Connected or coincidental? Science debates? The near-simultaneous activity at Yellowstone and Kilauea has ignited debate online and careful discussion within the scientific community. Experts stress that there is no direct geological connection between the two systems. Yellowstone sits atop a continental hotspot beneath North America, while Kilauea is fed by a mantle plume beneath the Pacific Plate. However, both events highlight a deeper truth. Earth is constantly redistributing heat and pressure. Across the globe, sensors have recorded increased seismic unrest at multiple volcanic regions throughout 2025. While most of these signals remain within normal ranges, the clustering of visible events has captured global attention. Scientists are now re-examining how climate, groundwater levels, crustal stress, and magma supply may influence eruption timing, particularly during seasonal shifts and extreme weather conditions. Winter eruptions, a unique challenge. Winter eruptions present unique dangers. At Yellowstone, snow and ice can trap steam, increasing pressure beneath the surface. Frozen ground may delay minor releases, allowing energy to build longer before erupting violently. In Hawaii, heavy rains interacting with hot lava can produce explosive steam plumes, acid rain, and volcanic smog even when eruptions remain contained. Monitoring teams worked through Christmas night analyzing data streams, satellite images, and gas measurements, knowing that volcanic systems do not follow human calendars. What scientists say now? Authorities emphasize, no evidence of a Yellowstone super eruption. Hydrothermal eruptions remain unpredictable and localized. Kilauea is expected to continue episodic activity. Monitoring systems are functioning normally. Data from these events will shape future hazard models. Still, scientists acknowledge uncertainty.